Hello friends, welcome to the next problem. If you observe the problem over here, we realize for the first time that this problem cannot be solved by any other machine other than Turing machine. So let's see the question over here. It says L equal to 0 raised to n, 1 raised to n, 2 raised to n, n's value greater than equal to 1. So I want you to pause the video over here for a minute and see are you able to solve this problem with the help of a push down automata? Welcome back friends. So I'll start with the problem now and see whether at least I am able to do it with the help of a PDA. So let's get started. So friends, to solve this problem with the help of push down automata, Maybe for a language like 0 raised to n, 1 raised to n and 2 raised to n, we can assume n's length to be 3. So that gives me 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2. And the logic could be for every 0 push 1x, for every 1 push 1y and for every 2 pop what x or y so maybe if i have a stack like this bottom is r i get a zero i pushed x for i get a zero i pushed x i get a zero i pushed x and now for all of these ones if i keep on popping x i am unable to keep a track of two so let's say maybe for all of this one i say keep on pushing y next one next y for the third one third y then how for this three i will be popping out this two x and y if i say for first two pop first two y for second two the logic has to be same now popping of the first two y's however over here i am getting a y followed by x so this machine cannot solve this problem and for that, I compulsorily require a Turing machine. So now let's understand how a Turing machine helped me over here for solving this problem. I say over here, if I have the input like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2 and a blank, to solve this problem, I say, make the first zero as x, bypass all the zeros, make the first one as y, move to the right, bypass all the ones, make the first two as z and move to the left. Bypass everything till you get the first x. I am not talking of first y, first x. Bypass everything till you get the first x. Keep the x as it is and move to the right as we did in the previous problem. Now, the moment you get a 0, make it as x. Bypass everything till you get the first one. Make the first one as y, move to the right. Bypass everything till you get the first two. Make the first two as z and move to the left. Bypass everything till you get the first x. Keep the x as it is, move to the right. Make the first 0 as x. Bypass everything till you get the first 1. Make it as y. Bypass everything till you get the first 2. Make it as z. Move to the right. And when you move to the left, you see a lot of z's, you see a lot of y. As per the logic, we are interested in finding the first x. The moment you get the first x, you keep the x as it is and move to the right. And now you stand at this particular arrow position. Now, when I say to the right of x, I am getting a capital Y, it signifies that my zeros have been exhausted. And if this problem is of the form 0 raised to n, 1 raised to n, 2 raised to n, 
the number of ones and two should also get compulsorily exhausted. So friends, if you observe over here, to the right of x, I am getting a y, zeros are over. So I bypass all the y's and keep on moving to the right. If to the right of y, after bypassing all the z's also, I get a blank directly. I say keep the blank as it is. Go to the final state and do not move the read head either to the left or right. And conclude that the input is accepted by the Turing machine. So that's how the logic is going to be. 0x, 1y, 2z. Again come back, 0x, 1y, 2z come back 0x 1y 2z so on and so forth till the entire input get accepted repeat the cycle again and again so let's see how to solve the problem so we have blank 0 0 0 1 1 1 2 2 2 and blank over here so friends, starting with the implementation part, I am in state Q0, I receive a 0, I make it as X and move to the right, 2 state Q1. So Q0 on 0, make it as X and move to the right. To the right, in Q1, for all the zeros, I want to keep it as 0 and move to the right till I get the first 1. Q1 on receiving a 1, make it as Y and further move to the right. Therefore, I go to a state Q2, I get a 1, make it as Y, move to the right in Q2 itself. In Q2, for all the ones which I am going to get, I am going to keep it as 1 itself and keep on moving to the right till I get the first 2. In Q2, the moment I get the first 2, I will be taking it to state Q3. 2 will be modified as Z and for the first time, I will be moving to the left. So now I stand over here. So over here, instead of this z, this z was changed. So, and this was modified as z and we move to the left. So now in Q3, you are going to get 1s. So for the 1, I am going to keep it as 1 and move to the left. So for all the 1s, they are going to be bypassed. Then I get y's. For all the y's, I am going to bypass it. Then I am going to get 0. So for all the zeros, I am going to keep it as 0 and bypass it. And this bypassing is going to go on and on till I get the first x. And the moment I get the first x, I go back to the initial state q0. So in q3, the moment you get a x, keep it as x, move to the right and you stand over here right now. Now, in state Q0, when you get a 0, you are going to make it as X and move to the right. In state Q1, for 0, you are going to bypass it and next time you get a Y. So, for this Y, you are going to keep it as Y as it is and move to the right. Next, you get it as 1, you are going to make it as Y and move to the right. In Q2, you get a 1, you are going to bypass it. Next, you get a Z. So, you are going to keep the Z as it is and move to the right till you get a 2. For 2, you are going to make it a Z and move to the left. Now, when you move to the left in state Q3, you will be coming across the first Z. And for Z, you are going to keep it as Z and move to the left then you come across ones which will be bypassed you come across y's that will be bypassed you come across one zero that will be bypassed and then finally you come across a x which you are going to keep it as x and move to the right by going to the initial state q0 
So now you are in state Q0 and you get a 0 over here. And now as I told you after two cycles, the diagram is complete and in the third cycle we simply verify the iterations. So over here, Q0 on receiving a 0 will make it as X move to the right, bypass all the Y's on Q1 receiving a 1, make it as Y move to the right, bypass all the Z's. Q2 on 2, make it as Z move to the left, bypass all the Z's in Q3, Y's in Q3 and on receiving a X, keep it as X and move to the right and I stand at this arrow mark position. So now, when I move to the right, in state Q0 for the first time, I am encountering a Y. That is, my zeros have exhausted. Since zeros have exhausted over here, my 1s and 2s should also be exhausted. And therefore, that is what is something we are going to check now. So now I see in Q0, the moment I receive the first Y, keep it as Y and move to the right, go to state Q4. In Q4, keep on bypassing all the Y's and move to the right. Now, since my zeros are over, there is no point that my 1's or 2's should be left. So, now Q4 cyclic transition is going to ensure that all the 1's are over. And I can reuse this cyclic transition for checking my 2's also. So, I say in Q4 itself for all the Z, keep it as Z and move to the right. So, all the Z's will be bypassed and I will be standing one point at a blank. So, in Q4 when I receive a blank, I say keep it as blank, do not move the read here anywhere and go to the final state. So with this we see that the entire logic for 0 raised to n, 1 raised to n, 2 raised to n can be only implemented by one and only one machine that is my Turing machine. So with this we complete with this problem. See you in the next session. Thank you.